adoremus. Eternu sanctissimum sacramentum. Jesus, we praise you, we adore you, we worship you. We thank you, Lord, for your Eucharistic presence among us. Mother of the Eucharist, please intercede for us. Help us, Mother, to reach the heights of holiness that Jesus has destined for us. Mother Mary, draw us closer to your Eucharistic Son's presence. Help us to believe in his love for us like we've never believed in his love for us before. Mother Mary, we ask that you pray for us, intercede for us, that our trust may increase great love and mercy. And we, Jesus, we, we praise you, we love you, we thank you for your Eucharistic presence among us. And Lord, we, we ask you to bless all of those who are watching now and who will watch later for healing graces for them, for all the graces they're most in need of, for their continued conversions. We pray for the conversion of hardened sinners. We pray that more souls will turn to God. Brothers and sisters, let us get on our knees. Let us pray like we've never prayed before for the conversion of sinners. Now is the time for God's mercy. Now is the time for conversion. Now is the time for our hearts to be set on fire with his divine love, for a zeal for souls. We pray for Holy Mother Church. We pray for priests, for their holiness of life, for strength and courage and holy boldness for them to speak the truth of the gospel in love and not to compromise our faith. We pray for all bishops and cardinals for the same. We pray for our bishop that he may receive discernment and double portion to know God's will in the present moment for his people and that Mother Mary places her mantle of protection around him and around uh, Father Adam, the vicar, and, and uh, Bishop Louis Kenneman, and for all cardinals, all bishops, and for the Holy Father. We pray for discernment, humility, an increase of faith, hope, and love. We pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon our youth today who are so into things that are just not holy. Lord, we just ask that you send your Holy Spirit upon the youth of today and upon the whole world, praying especially for our youth in the state of Mississippi, praying for the youth here in the United States of America. Lord, we pray, Mother Mary, wrap your mantle of protection around the youth of today. And we pray that more and more Marian prayer cynicals will be started in families. Even if there's one or two people, two people at the most, please start a Marian prayer cynical. These are so powerful. These are so good for God's people. And consider going to Eucharistic adoration and even signing yes. up for an hour at a perpetual adoration chapel or starting an adoration chapel in your parish. Yes, and we just pray for all of you, too, to realize the power of the rosary, that it is the weapon, the spiritual weapon of our times. It will crush the head of Satan in our lives, and we will be helped in so many ways that you could never imagine. It can bring peace into your families, peace into your heart, Healings and conversions will take place. This is what Mary desires. This is what Mary wants, the conversion of sinners, and that we will be um, truly free and truly alive, that we will not be in bondage, that we will not be enslaved to sin anymore. 
that we will be set free, truly free indeed. And we ask Our Lady to intercede for this. For all those who are watching, we pray that um, Our Lady will right now even lead people right now to watch this online, that their hearts may be touched. So pray with us to encounter our Divine Eucharistic Lord present here among us. And on this uh, special feast day of St. Margaret of Castello, mm. we pray in a very special way for all of those who are handicapped in any way. We pray for the blind, for those who are crippled, for many, for all those who are suffering in different ways with different handicaps. We all have different handicaps of one kind or another. And yet, St. Margaret of Costello, she went all out in loving God and, and, and loving others. She did not think about her handicaps, but she was always intent on sacrificing her whole life for God and serving the poor and those most in need. So we ask St. Margaret of Costello to intercede for us, to inspire us as well in knowing how to give our all to God, say yes with our whole hearts to God, as our Holy Mother did as well. And as St. Margaret of Costello was abandoned by her own parents and just left to the poor um, on the streets, we pray for all those who are feeling less than, those who feel abandoned, those who are alone, those who are having suicidal thoughts. We just pray that they may come to know their dignity and identity and who God has created them to be in his image and likeness and that they are precious, that they have something to offer to the entire world. When they unite their sufferings with the sufferings of Jesus, when they turn to Jesus with their whole heart, mind, soul, and strength. All of your suffering, brothers and sisters, has redemptive value. Redemptive suffering is amazing. You are not alone. You have such great graces when you look like Jesus because he went through his, his passion, his sufferings, and death. And resurrection and so Jesus he understands your sufferings and he suffers with you and in you so as we enter into this rosary we encourage all of us to really bring our hearts to Jesus to expose our hearts to Jesus and to Mary as their hearts are exposed to us and to invite Jesus in especially to any areas that are most difficult for us right now. Anything that weighs heaviest upon us, any of our greatest fears, anxieties, or sufferings, that let us take a moment of silence to let the Holy Spirit inspire us in anything we should invite Jesus into. And of course, our Holy Mother. For all those who are having any doubts at this time about their faith, to know that they are not alone in that either, that Thomas the Apostle, he doubted, but God said, put your hand into my side and believe. And so let us imagine ourselves placing our hands into the sacred wounded heart of Jesus and into his hands that have been pierced and his feet who have been nailed, that we may touch his wounds and be healed of our doubts. 
especially those who are doubting their Catholic faith. So we pray that Jesus in the Eucharist will be lifted up everywhere throughout the world. And we pray for each one of you joining us here, present, and through the internet now and later. We pray, Lord, in a special way for each of these precious ones of yours and their intentions in their hearts. Placing all of Mary's Immaculate Heart, especially praying for the holy souls in purgatory, especially those, our family members, loved ones and benefactors who are still in purgatory, who have passed away, and the forgotten soul, and any priest and religious in purgatory. Placing all of Mary's heart as we pray this rosary for Mary's intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Holy Father, whose holy intentions, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For the increase of faith, hope, and love, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. We will do the joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. O handmaid of the Lord, we contemplate you at the moment when you spoke your yes to the will of the Father. Mary reportedly tells us when the Father decided to place his word in my virginal womb, he found your mother ready to welcome him with love and joy, being only intent upon the perfect fulfillment of the divine will. You too should learn always to say yes to whatever the Lord now asks of you through the voice that comes to you from the immaculate heart of your heavenly mother. I am bringing you to say yes, always 
to whatever Jesus asks of you. How few there are, even among those specially chosen by me, who know how to say yes to Jesus. Brothers and sisters, can we say yes? Can we say yes to God's divine will in the present moment, whatever it may be? Mary speaks of the profound joy and love that she had when the Father decided to place his word in her virginal womb, Jesus Christ, in her virginal womb. He is the word made flesh. The evil one cringes at these words, and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. There is someone, uh, an exorcist in Canada, just simply saying those words, people would be delivered. Those who were possessed would immediately be freed from their possession just by these powerful words, and the word was made flesh. Let us meditate upon this as the word was made flesh in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary and what that could have meant for her, what was going on in her mind and in her heart as she was contemplating the word made flesh in her womb. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace. Pray for us. O Sacrament, most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all soak in the grace of the, of the Annunciation as we seek to give our own yes to God and his holy will in our lives. encourage us if we feel weighed down in any way to surrender these areas, these situations to Jesus present before us now and to our Heavenly Mother who is present. Place whatever weighs heavy upon us into their hearts and trust that our Lord has won the victory. Trust in his redeeming graces. Trust that if we're consecrated to Mary, we have no problems of our own. They become her problems. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. O oh, Mother of Divine Grace, we journey with you as you bring Jesus and his Holy Spirit to your cousin Elizabeth and her family. Let us enter into this mystery as Mary is visiting Elizabeth. We can even imagine Mary visiting us. Mary reportedly tells us, Beloved children, I am the mediatrix of graces. Grace is the very life of God which is communicated to you. From the bosom of the Father, grace, in order to reach you, must therefore pass through the divine heart of the Son, who communicates it to you in his spirit of love. This life of grace has also a relationship with your Heavenly Mother. I am truly the mediatrix of grace between you and my son, Jesus. My task is that of distributing grace to all my children who entrust themselves to me with perfect abandonment. Holy Mother, Mediatrix of all graces, we entrust ourselves to you Bring Jesus to us by grace in his spirit of love. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> Blessed art thou among women, and the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Our Mother, the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave. silence to soak in the graces of Mary's visitation to Elizabeth and her visitation to us now. Have we experienced the love of a perfect mother? Certainly all of us, no matter how good our earthly mother has been, we none of us have experienced the love of a perfect mother except 
through Mary to the degree that we dispose ourselves to Mary as our spiritual mother. This is why Jesus, before dying, said, Behold your mother. An encouragement to all of us to truly be as children, even now, and asking Mary to be our spiritual mother, to take us by the hand, to carry us throughout life, to hold us in the womb of her immaculate heart, to form us into other Christs. The third joyful mystery is the incarnation, the birth of Jesus Christ. O Virgin Mother, we live the moments of this holy night with you in silence and expectant prayer. Mary reportedly tells us, my journey toward Bethlehem became nothing but a sweet and motherly bowing down to his divine wish to come and live among you as a brother. And I spoke with him in a conversation made up of silence and listening, contemplation and love, adoration and expectation. Now I ask of you also, my beloved children, prayer and suffering as your personal collaboration in preparing a fitting dwelling place for Jesus, who is about to return in glory. Virgin Mother of Jesus, help us prepare through persevering prayer and suffering with you for the second coming of Jesus in glory. As Mary tells us that her journey toward Bethlehem, Bethlehem meaning house of bread, became nothing but a sweet and motherly bowing down to his divine will, his divine wish to come and live among you as brother. Jesus, the Word made flesh, comes down from his heavenly throne to live among us. He's not simply observing us from above. He is living among us. He is with us and he experiences our joys, he experiences our sufferings. He experiences the hardest things that we have to deal with. Jesus never leaves us alone. God, if he would cease to think of, about us, even for a moment, even for an instant, we would cease to exist. How beautiful that we are in the mind of God always. Otherwise, we would cease to exist. It is love that keeps us alive. Who would like to lead this mystery? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day, day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O <coughs> my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace. Pray for us. O Sacrament, most holy. O Sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving. Be silence to soak in the graces of the birth of Jesus as we are here together at Bethlehem encountering the divine Christ child. What spoke to me in this um, reading of Mary, what she reportedly tells us, she says, and I spoke with him, with Jesus, in a conversation made up of silence and listening, contemplation and love, adoration and expectation. Interesting how she, she spoke 
with him in a conversation, we're so used to making noise, saying something, talking and talking. And Mary is simply saying that she listened. She was silent before the presence of God. And I recently heard from a very holy man, if you've heard of Gabby After Hours, it's Gabriel, who had a major conversion. And when he went to adoration, he didn't know what to do. And someone told him, just keep saying the name of Jesus. And as he was saying the name of Jesus, 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 he heard an interior voice say, be silent, my son. And he said, no, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And the interior voice said, be silent, my son. And then he obeyed and he was silent and the Lord spoke to his heart. God desires to speak to your heart and to my heart. Do we have that listening heart with him, with ourselves and with others? Do we have that ability to just be, to listen, not just hear, but to listen? The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of Jesus in the temple. O oh, loving mother, we accompany you and Joseph as you carry the child Jesus with love and immense happiness to the temple of Jerusalem. As we enter this mystery and enter the temple with Mary and Joseph. And we see Anna and Simeon. They had listening hearts. So many other priests and Jews were there in the temple, but it was only Anna and Simeon who encountered Jesus who recognized Jesus. Similar to the hemorrhaging woman who re reached out and touched Jesus. She was so attentive, open and disposed. She had such faith. They had such faith. Do we have such faith right now as the same Jesus is present here with us in this temple. Mary reportedly tells us, Behold the mystery of love of my divine motherhood. As mother, I entrust my child to the hands of the priest, and in him I adore my God, who enters into the glory of his house. My beloved sons and daughters, become today my little children. My church must open itself to the action of the Holy Spirit. Today, such profound darkness seems to pervade this edifice. It is necessary that the spirit may get all resplendent again with a totally new light. As I did with my child Jesus, so too with you I present myself in the holy temple of God and I offer you as a holocaust to the Father to satisfy his divine justice. O 
Holy Mother of our Lord Jesus. And our Mother, make us willing and unafraid to be offered by you along with Jesus as a holocaust to the Father. Who would like to lead? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Let us take a moment of silence to soak in the graces of the presentation of Jesus in the temple and our own presentation in and through the arms of our Holy Mother.
this mystery as our Holy Mother says, as I did with the child Jesus, so too with you I present myself in the holy temple of God, and I offer you as a holocaust to the Father to satisfy his divine justice. This reminds me of the three children of Fatima, Francesco, Jacinta, and Lucia, who did offer themselves as holocausts. They so wanted to give their lives as victims in sacrifice for, this, for our Lord's greater glory and the salvation of souls. And our mother has asked this of us as well. And this is what our consecration to Jesus through Mary is meant to be. <coughs> So, Holy Mother, we renew our consecrations now, and we thank you for inspiring us to give our all to Jesus, present before us in the Holy Eucharist. In this fifth mystery, the finding of Jesus in the temple, we search, O oh Mother, with Joseph and you for your son Jesus. Mary reportedly tells us, my heart is the heart of a mother, a real living heart of a mother who is real and living for all her children. All men redeemed by my son are also my children. They are my children in the fullest sense of the word. Even those who are far away, even the sinners, even the atheist, even those who reject God, those who fight against him and hate him. They are all my children. And I am a mother to them. For many of them, I am the only mother they have. The only person who is taking care of them, who truly loves them. I want to help them. I want to save them because I am their mother. If this does not bring us to tears, I don't know what would. This is the heart of a mother crying out for her children. She's saying that I love all of you. I'm a mother to all of you, to the atheists, to those who reject God, to those who are sinners, to those who fight him and hate him. But Mary doesn't say once that I desire you to continue this way. I think it's, it's, it's your freedom to do so. I think you should just go right ahead and just continue doing all these things, hating God, rejecting him and all that, because, you know, I'm your mother. I love you. No, a mother wants what is best for her child. She wants her child to make it to heaven. She wants all of her children to experience that divine love that is so rare amongst God's people because they are not calling upon him. They're not knowing Jesus' love for them. They're not aware of his love for them. And Mary is just simply saying to us that she truly loves 
each and every one of us who would like to lead this mystery. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed art thou Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive me of our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks giving be together in the cynical of Mary's Immaculate Heart. Let us dispose ourselves to Jesus in this mystery as we seek to find Jesus 
and this temple. Dear brothers and sisters, as we hear Mary saying that I am a mother to them and I'm the only mother that they have who truly is taking care of them and loves them. This is the kind of heavenly mother we have. Brothers and sisters, it's beyond our imagination beyond our comprehension that we do have a loving mother, a heavenly mother, who is so one with her son, Jesus. Is she who is the daughter of the father, the mother of the son, and the spouse of the Holy Spirit, She is always seeking to save her children, always searching for them to come back home. Again, I will say this, the young man Gabriel, when he was continuing to live a sinful life, even after he went to adoration, he was continuing his sinful life, but he was led to the rosary and as soon as he picked up his rosary, he underwent a satanic assault. The evil one put his hand around his throat and was trying to strangle him because he knew that this young man, if he turned to the mother of God, would be set free from his sinfulness. And sure enough, an angel told him, Say Hail Mary, say Hail Mary. He couldn't get the words out because he was being strangled. And the angel said, say it in your mind. And in his mind, he said, Hail Mary. And as soon as he said, Hail Mary, the evil one left him. And this moment in time changed this young man forever. He now has his own YouTube channel. He is a speaker that speaks to young people all over the place in the United States and loves Mary so very much. Prays four rosaries a day and so in love with her. He's never gone back to his sinful life. This is the kind of mother we have, brothers and sisters, who desires to set us free. And Mary reportedly tells us, enough of these dry dissertations about me. People need to know me. So as we conclude this rosary and as we prepare to uh, eventually say the consecration to Mary, let us ask ourselves, have we encountered Mary's heart? As she said, my heart is the heart of a mother, a real living heart of a mother who is real and living for all her children. Have we encountered Mary personally, who draws us to encounter Jesus ever more personally? Hail Mary. Mary, most pure, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin, Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry for banished children of need. 
To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love and the trust be here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and to guide. Amen. St. Gabriel and St. Raphael, pray for us. St. Joseph, terror of demons, pray for us. St. Pope John Paul II, pray for us. St. Margaret of Castella, pray for us. All the holy angels and saints, pray for us. Holy souls in purgatory, pray for us as we pray for you. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with all the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those within our own homes and within our own families. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mother Mary, celestial queen, with this rosary, we bind all of our children and loved ones to your immaculate heart. Amen. Yes, we thank you, Francis and Jack. We unite with you. If you all will turn to your blue books, number 304, in your blue books, number 304, to the priest, our lady's beloved sons. This reading was given at the shrine of Castelmonte, Udine, Italy, February the 9th, 1985, after the recitation of the Holy Rosary. The title of, the title of this is My Word. Interesting, we were just talking about the word was made flesh. My word, beloved children, you have come to my shrine in a spirit of prayer and of reparation. On pilgrimage, you have come up here where I await you to fill you with graces, with comfort, and with motherly consolation. Each time you come to the feet of my image, so venerated, to bring me your filial homage of love, I cause many graces to come down from my immaculate heart upon you, upon all my beloved children throughout the world, upon the church, upon my poor sinful children, and upon humanity which is so threatened by evil, by hatred, 
by violence and by war, and which is dried up by sin and by an ever more widespread immorality. In this house, your Heavenly Mother consoles and encourages you, molds and leads you, strengthens and confirms you by the word which she gives you to show you the way. <coughs> oh, how necessary is my motherly word for you today. For this reason I cause it to gush forth from my heart in an ever more abundant manner. Feel a great desire for it. Receive it with humility and docility. Meditate upon it in your heart. Put it into practice in your life. My word is above all a flower of wisdom, which I cause to come down from heaven. It sets out from the eternal wisdom, from the word. It is he who is the uncreated wisdom who reveals the plan of the Father whose perfect image he is. This wisdom made flesh in my virginal womb. From word became man and has the task of always giving men the gift of eternal truth. This divine word contained in Holy Scripture and above all in the gospel, is the only light which must guide you. But today it is being surrounded by many doubts because there is a desire to interpret it according to the human way of reasoning and of seeing things and is often no longer presented in its integrity. Errors are spreading. And when you come to the plan of God, you are impeded from understanding it in its fullness because you are making use of an attitude which is too human and which seeks to understand only by means of reason. This is an attitude of pride and it is the very least to be recommended for approaching the great mystery of God. To understand his truth, it is necessary to be little. It is necessary to be little, to see it in its proper light. It is necessary to be poor, to keep it in its integrity. One must be simple, to give it to others in the splendor of its authenticity, one must be humble. For this reason, with my word, I am forming you to humility, to simplicity, and to littleness. I want to lead you to be like so many little children, because only then can I speak to you. I will repeat this sentence, it's very important. I want to lead you to be like so many little children because only then can I speak to you. My word is a flower of wisdom which forms you through the Holy Spirit given to you by the Father and the Son and who leads you to an ever more complete and deep understanding of the gospel. In the obscurity which today has fallen everywhere, my word of wisdom becomes a ray of purest light which points out to you the way you must follow and the road along which you must go in order to remain always in the truth Darkness with a thick, cold fog has entered the church. 
obscuring it in the splendor of its truth. For this reason, every day, my word is forming you to the spirit of wisdom that you may always see in the light the truth which my son has taught you and proclaim it with courage to all in its integrity. The time has now come when only the little children consecrated to my immaculate heart and entrusted completely to their heavenly mother will have the gift of keeping themselves intact in the faith and of bringing to the truth to the truth to the true faith the souls entrusted to them my word is also a drop of dew which i cause to fall upon the earth which has become an immense desert and upon human life so dried up by sin and suffering how many of my children are like dried up trees without life and in the church how many among my beloved ones have allowed themselves to be seized by aridity and discouragement? They continue to exercise their ministry, but without enthusiasm and without joy because they have become hindered by difficulties and become crushed by the enormous weight of the purification which you are living through. You have need for my word to cause a rain of motherly tenderness to fall into your dried up hearts, a rain of freshness, of filial abandonment, and of hope for the beautiful days which await you in the new era, which is even now about to blossom upon the desert of the last times. My word is therefore like a drop of dew, which I cause to fall from my immaculate heart into your hearts, that they may be able to open up to the warmth of the new life, which I am cultivating within you, to offer you as fragrant flowers, now finally opened, to the perfect homage of the most holy trinity. My word is lastly a spring of graces, which I cause to flow over you, to open up your souls to a new splendor of beauty and holiness, and to cleanse you also once again of every least stain of sin because I want you to be beautiful, pure and luminous, open to the divine gift of grace, so that the fullness of love and of the most perfect charity may blossom in your life. My graces come to you through the gift of my word, which becomes light to the mind, life to the heart, and support for your journey. In the fearful and bloody final period of the purification which awaits you and which in these very years will make itself felt in a particularly painful way, I am preparing you to receive with greater docility the, mother, the motherly gift of my word Thus, in the midst of great darkness, you are able to walk in the light of wisdom. In aridity, you can always be consoled by my tenderness, a balm which is placed on so many open and bleeding wounds. In every circumstance of your life, you can obtain the grace of responding to the love of Jesus and of singing today the glory of the divine trinity, walking along the road of a holiness which I want to be ever greater.
in these very years of the great purification, I want to offer you to the church as an ever more visible sign of my motherly triumph. Amen. Alleluia. Let us just uh, take a few moments to reflect upon this magnificent reading. Let us turn to A4 in the back to make our act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary for religious and laity. A4. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Virgin of Fatima, Mother of Mercy, Queen of Heaven and Earth, Refuge of sinners, we who belong to the Marian movement of priests, consecrate ourselves in a very special way to your immaculate heart. By this act of consecration, we intend to live with you and through you all the obligations assumed by our baptismal consecration. We further pledge to bring about in ourselves that interior conversion so urgently demanded by the gospel, a conversion that will free us of every attachment to ourselves and to easy compromises with the world, so that like you, we may be available only to do always the will of the Father. And as we resolve to entrust to you, O oh, Mother most sweet and merciful, our life and vocation as Christians, that you may dispose of it according to your designs of salvation, and in this hour of decision that weighs upon the world, we, we pledge to live it according to your desires especially as it pertains to a renewed spirit of prayer and penance, the fervent participation in the celebration of the Eucharist and in the works of the Apostolate, the daily recitation of the Holy Rosary, and an austere manner of life in keeping with the Gospel, that shall be to all a good example of the observance of the law of God and the practice of the Christian virtues, especially that of purity. We further promise you to be united with the Holy Father, with the hierarchy, and with our priests in order thus to set up a barrier to the growing confrontation directed against the magisterium that threatens the very foundation of the church. Under your protection, we want, moreover, to be apostles of the sorely needed unity of prayer and love for the Pope, on whom we invoke your special protection. And lastly, in so far as is possible, we promise to lead those souls with whom we come in contact 
to a renewed devotion to you. Mindful that atheism has caused shipwreck in the faith to a great number of the faithful, that desecration has entered into the holy temple of God, and that evil and sin are spreading more and more throughout the world. We make it so bold as to lift our eyes trustingly to you, O Mother of Jesus, and our merciful and powerful Mother, and that we invoke again today and await from you the salvation of all your children. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, we thank you for uh, joining us in these prayers. And we um, ask you if you would like to take a look at our website, ourmotheroftheeucharist.org or momhermits.org and read the beautiful writings that one of our sisters has written in there about Mary, about the Eucharist. So much uh, information in that website. So we just encourage you to go to it. God bless you all. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every